everyone, it's Diane and this is the Angel Hub for Monday the 21st of October and before I start I just want to say a couple of quick things. Um, first of all, thank you very much for everyone, to everyone who responded to my request for themes to explore in angel hugs because I've got some really lovely ones and I'm okay I don't need any more just now because I know that it could become um, quite a lot to deal with but I really love the ones that have been um, put forward and I picked one to look at today which was from Amethyst Jo and she was asking about how to know our infinite nature how to actually experience it as a tangible real thing and I just got really really uh, lights going on everywhere in terms of you know being able to receive some really good guidance about that and I knew it was going to be quite a long video so I've done that separately Joe. so please have a look and anyone else who's interested it's uh, it's going to be called probably Angel Hugs Extra or something like that Angel Hugs Extra Infinite Nature so please have a look at that because it's uh, really really lovely what came through it really made a huge difference to me as well it really reaffirmed my sense of of all of that and it was a joy to create that video so um and the other thing i want to say is in that video you might notice these okay so just have a quick look i just want you to see that they're not actually mine because the way i've put them on the back of the chair which is kind of semi deliberate it's not different I wanted to have them in the picture and then it kind of occurred to me that it might be sort of hinting at something I would suggest everyone go and get a pair of these because we are all angels and um, I just love having them in the picture at some point I might wear them as a special thing maybe at Christmas or for a special promotion we'll see but I just love having them and I really wanted them in the picture but I just want to clarify that in case you thought I'd sprouted wings or something <laughs> just uh, well okay so um Right, so for today, how can we embrace our infinite nature? Let's see if we can get some more guidance from the cards on how we can embrace our infinite nature today, how we can experience ourselves as infinite. The card today is surrender, lovely. That's just perfect. And it says, remain positive about the future of our planet for all is part of humanity's evolution. And that is very interesting because that is something that concerns so many of us at this time. And really it's important for us to surrender our desire to control the process of that evolution and to become more aware that it's a co-creation that we're in it together and that if we can stay relaxed and stay in the right energy stay in our hearts it's much easier to allow that to happen or to rather create that together so in terms of being aware of our infinite nature, again, if you want to look at that video, it talks about that a lot in great detail about how our connection with each other will remind us of our infinite nature. And I also feel that surrender is, um, is an important part of that because as we surrender, we allow the divine in us to take over more. And when we allow the divine to come into our lives more, when, when we allow that highest expression of God, source, love, infinite light whatever you wish to call it when we allow it to come through us and to guide our lives then we really do feel aware of our infinite nature and we do that by surrendering okay there is a divine order to all the chaos which you perceive that exists in our world and to make that personal there is a divine order to the chaos that any of us might be experiencing in our lives and again i have to say i have had the most inspirational weekend and it i have just had so many insights about so many things i feel so excited so creative about what i'm going to bring to you next and um, i'm not going to say too much about it just yet but it really, this is a reminder that when we do connect, when we do let go, when we take the time to actually consciously surrender, which sounds like a, a contradiction in a way, but it's not, you know, because you can actively consciously decide to surrender and meditation is an excellent way of deciding to surrender. So we sit there, we stop the wheel, we stop thinking, we stop planning, we stop trying to make stuff happen or figure stuff out and we just say, okay I'm going to be completely surrendered for the next 10 minutes completely surrendered I'm not even going to try to meditate I'm just going to put some music on that I really like but I'm going to stop I'm going to stop the world and get off I'm just going to sit here and surrender everything and then we might also want to say I surrender this to you God 
divine love, light consciousness, higher self, however you want to put it. I'm not going to force anyone into any kind of um, religious paradigms or paradoxes. So, okay, it's just a reminder of the importance of that. Nothing will ever truly change until we learn to love and accept all as it is. Lovingly surrender your judgments and expectations and your life will magically transform. And I have been told that by my guides even. Surrender judgments. Surrender our, uh, our um, assessments that we make on a mental level from the mental plane of understanding. Surrender all of it. Bring the energy into the heart. Ask to be shown the higher picture, ask to be shown what needs to be surrendered and say once again I'm surrendering this problem, issue, question, this conflict, whatever it is that's going on that's raging inside us, I'm surrendering this to something higher than myself, to God consciousness or to my guardian angel because sometimes we just we stop the flow we get in the way we we stop them being able to help us by trying to work it too hard ourselves the answers are already all there we just need to let go so even if you're not looking to connect with a higher power or surrender to a higher power even if you feel like well actually i am the motivating force in my life i am in charge i am living at cause um, whatever, however, whatever your paradigm or perception is, just decide to spend 10 minutes a day this week to just, uh, just surrendering, just saying, okay, there's a part of me that knows better. There's a part of me that already knows the answer to this. I am willing to surrender this part in the process of allowing that answer, that divine answer, that perfect answer to come through me like a song. Okay, that's it. Thank you for listening. I'll be back tomorrow. Have a great Monday. Bye.